And Dan Drew is kicking off club week here on Good Day. Dan. Kenny, this cool Colorado club is looking for new members and age is not a requirement. I think you write better than Ken Clark. Coming up, we'll explain. <laughs> Welcome back. It's Monday, a brand new week, and Fox 31's Dan DeRue. He's showcasing some of Colorado's interesting clubs this week. A very nice. If you're not built for speed, today's club might be for you. Right, Dan? You're just making the rounds. Yeah, well, listen, Shawley. Hello, nice to see you. Hey. Uh, it is a cool Colorado club. Shaw, you like to ride horses. Ken, you like to ride your hog and sometimes your motorcycle. And, well, there are people like me who are kind of in between and this is a cool Colorado club we're live at Sportique scooters and we've been showcasing some cool clubs and this one is called Misfit Toys Semper Scoot I love that and Uncle Lumpy Uncle Lumpy that's me you actually want us to go on the air with that name? yeah sure okay. why not that's all I've known hey Uncle Lumpy nice to see you by the way thanks for coming by uh you know by the way I had an opportunity to ride as well. Take a look at this cool video that we shot a few minutes ago, thanks to Josh Hands risking life and limb sitting in another scooter with a sidecar in front of us. Now, there are a lot of scooter clubs in the Denver metro area. A whole lot of us, yep. What do you guys do as a club? Well, actually, we take a lot of rides. Um, you're, we're the ones you see going down the road and probably irritating a few of the soccer mom assassins that are behind us, uh, trying to take us out. Uh, yeah. Group rides all summer long. We love it. We love it. Always looking for members? We're always looking for members. The thing about the uh, Misfit Toys is we, uh, some clubs go with straightly steel, yeah. straight Japanese. We kind of take all comers. Yes. We got plastic Japanese bikes. We've got some nice steel bikes. Well, talking about the bikes, I'm on one right there. Actually, it, this is like maybe the second time I rode. And I got to tell you, Uncle Lumpy, it really was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. And you know, the wind blowing in my hair and Josh Hands and I got on a bike and we went and got some food here driving around uh, Hilltop. It was a lot of fun. It's addictive. When I bought this thing, it was just on a whim and ever since I've put on uh, more miles on this than I've put on my car in the last year. I think I've spent $200 in gas in the whole year. Now, of all the clubs, wow, see, that's very green. That's a low imprint or boot print or fingerprint. Listen, go to kdvr.com for information. What do you guys do when you rumble? Don't answer that. Maybe stab each other with a bagel or something, because these guys are definitely very confident. These men and women who ride around in these scooters are very confident in what they do. And yes, I don't they know are. Yeah, that was that. I'm, I'm trailing off is what I'm doing. I'm just trailing off. Trailing <laughs> off into the sunset on two wheels. Dan Drew, can't wait to see what he has for us next time. It is 9.